Okay, so now let's uh, have a little look at uh, another mod. Now this is uh, called Chatter. Uh, it's a, a nice chat interface um, change that lets you do things like links and invite links, um, change all the fonts. It's, uh, it's very cool, very powerful. Um, I've installed some different fonts. And I quite like the, uh, the scrolling combat text one that you get with the scrolling combat text mod called Emblem. So I'm going to change the font size to what I think looks good on my screen. I've got quite a big screen, so it uh, lets me have quite a nice small writing. Now one of the things you will need to change if you put this chat box down at the bottom is, is whereabouts your um, edit box is placed. Now I've just changed this one to free floating. It'll by default be on the bottom, obviously, which means you can't see it. So we'll move it around, put it where we want, um, lock it at another time and that gives us uh, our ability to type the text where we need. If you wanted to move that to the middle of the screen, that's pretty cool as well. And we'll lock the window. Okay, that's a pretty nice clean interface there. I'm quite pleased with that. And this, if I click on the bag, um, is my board bag mod. And uh, you know, the more bags that you get on your characters, the bigger this bag will become. Um, now, of course, you can, uh, through the options, um, display these bags separately if you wish um, and put them anywhere around your screen, um, or you can combine them. I quite like the combined look of, uh, of the bag. Um, scale, quite cool, means you can get a nice clean interface um, when you're trying to look in the auction house and you want to open your bags as well. Um, so I'm going to change the size of this to what I normally have. Um, of course, to make this video, what I did was I reset everything um, and uh, start from scratch. So there, I think that looks pretty good. The other cool thing you can do with board bag is you can look at your bank, um, even when you're not actually at your bank. It's called an offline viewer. Um, and uh, the moment you open your bank, it'll update all of this. So again, I'm just going to set this where I want, which means if I'm out and about and I want to see what's in my bank, did I get an item, um, then I can do that as well. Okay, so that's the basic clean interface. Um, now I'm back in Orgrimmer and I've come up to a target dummy. Um, now I'm going to show you um, one of the nice little uh, add-ons, it's called Nice Damage. Now what it does is it changes your in-game font um, for um, damage. Now let's just change my buff bars as well. So you notice I've got no buff bars at the moment, and that's because I'm using um, a mod. And this one here, um, slash FB, SBF options, opens up this mod, and we'll move our buff frames around. I'm going to show a few more buffs in my buff bar. Put this up at the top. Now one of the things to note is that uh, it puts the, the buffs the wrong end. Um, so you need to reverse the order in which they're shown. Um, otherwise all your buffs appear in the middle of the screen. Now I quite like changing the buff spacing um, to about minus four. It uh, brings them a bit closer together and again uh, cleans up your interface look a little bit change the font for the times and the time format to a sort of a blizzard style. Much cleaner. Now you'll need to do this with your debuffs as well. So we'll go back to layout and to the buff 2 frame and exactly the same thing. Put that in the right order. Change the padding and pop it where we want. And you can do all sorts of other things, so I encourage you to explore these mods um, to get exactly the look and feel that you desire, you like. Okay, so that's our nice buff layout. Okay, so I'm, I'm not going to show you some of the um, more advanced features of that uh, mod, I'll let you figure that out, but you can see that they're up there, nice and visible um, with the timers. Now our button facade mod that we looked at earlier, um, you can also apply that to your um, SBF mod as well. So you can get the, uh, the buffs to look quite good. But you will notice that uh, they don't actually change when I modify this, and that's because I need to reload my console. Now one of the cool things about these mods is that there's a shortcut for the reload console. Just type slash RL and that will reload your console. Now one warning, when you're putting all these mods in, you'll notice that the, uh, the reload or the actual loading of the game will take an awful lot longer. And that's to be expected, it's using up a lot more memory. 
so you just have to put up with it for the nice clean interface. Okay, so there we have a, a pretty nice interface. Now the sexy map's pretty nice because uh, the buttons only appear when you highlight the map, or when you go over the map. So let's have a little look at this nice damage and the, the change it makes to the uh, in-game font um, in a little bit. Now, tiny tip. You know, it's just the tool tip. The tool tip's always driven me nuts in the game because it's always in the wrong place. Um, so if you type slash tiny tip, you can start to move it around. Um, so let's uh, look at the frame anchors. You've got a unit anchor and a frame anchor. The unit anchor is um, a player or uh, another character, enemy target or a monster, and the frame anchor is for your tool tips and things like that. So uh, let's just muck around with these values until we get it exactly where we want. Uh, same thing, you, you know, you can put it on the left hand side or the top of the screen or whatever you're trying to, to do to achieve that look and feel that makes the game look better for you on your screen. Okay. I think I'm pretty happy with that. You can also change the scale. Um, I quite like a scale of around 65. Um, again, won't show you this until you reload your console um, with a slash RL command um, or console space reload so I'm not going to bother doing that for the moment. So I've not shown you the key bindings um, that I've set up but that's done in exactly the same way you, you do your normal key bindings. And you can see here as I'm hitting this target dummy um, I've got some scrolling combat text uh, which is easy to figure out and you can see the damage looks different on the screen. It's nice and bold and thick um, and allows you to see exactly what you're doing. Okay. Um, obviously the quest helper and the quest tracking um, stuff you don't really want while you're in combat or um, in a raid or something so um, I'm going to turn that off. It's very easy to turn on and off um, as you need. You just click there for turning off the quest tracker and then map, cartographer, waypoints and disable them and the arrow is gone. Um, if you want it back on again just reverse what I've just done. Very simple. Okay, thanks for watching. I hope it helped. I've had so many questions on my blog um, and on my YouTube videos about how to set up a clean interface, and that's how. Thanks for watching. Cheers.